Take two, take two. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about how to solve this equation. And as you can see, this one is an example of radical equation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. By the way guys, uh, I want to say to you that meron tayong naunang video wherein ang ginawa natin is we solve some problems or basic problems with regards to radical equations. And you can see it here. At makita mo rin siya sa ating description box if you want to watch that video. You can go there and before watching this video. So let's try and solve this problem. So we have here 2 square root of x minus 1 is equal to the square root of 3x plus 4. As you can see, both sides of the equation ay meron tayong radical, radical sign or radical. Pero ang pinakaiba na nito compared sa mga nauna natin ginawa is that meron tayong coefficient outside the radical sign. So how are we going to solve that? Same process, we need to square both sides of the equation including this 2 or this coefficient. Square both sides of the equation. So what will happen here is that on this part, on the right side here, we will eliminate this. Eliminate this. It will become 3x plus 4. But on the other side, what will happen here? First, we will distribute it, it here and this here. So what will happen at this radical, it will become eliminated. And this coefficient will be raised by 2. So we have 2 raised to 2 times x minus 1. So what happened? This radical is already eliminated because of the power of 2. And we will raise this, this coefficient by 2. So we need to simplify this 2 square. It will become 4 times x minus 1, then equal to 3x plus 4. So, where is yung 4 natin? It came from the simplified form of 2 square. 2 square is 4 or 2 times 2. And what we need to do now is we will distribute 4 using distributive property. 4 times x is 4x. Then 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 is equal to 3x plus 4. 4. So basically, we need to combine like terms. So the like terms are those terms with the variables and those constants. So we can transpose 3x to the other side. So what will happen? It will become negative. Eh? So this is 4x minus 3x. And this negative 4 can be transposed to the other side. It will become 4. And then this negative will become plus 4. Simplify this part, it will become 4x minus 3x is x is equal to 8. And this is now the answer for the given problem. And that's it guys. Pero kung gusto mong i-check whether your answer is correct, we can do the checking. Let us do the checking. Let me adjust this first. For the checking guys, we will use the original equation. That is 2 square root of x minus 1 is equal to 3x minus 4. The value of x is 8. Okay? So what we need to do is this. 2 square root of 8 minus 1 is equal to the square root of 3 times 8 minus 4. So as you can see, this is 2 times, or the square root of 7 is equal to the square root of 3 times 8. Okay, 3 times 8 is what? 24 minus 4. Oh, by the way, got it wrong. This one is plus, plus, and plus. Sorry for that. This one is positive or plus 4. So plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. So we have 2 square root of 7 is equal to the square root of 28. Guys, as you can see, they seem uh, it seems like this sila equal. But we can extract the square root of 28. We can factor it out as 4 
times 7. Ito, 2 square root of 7. And as we know, that the square root of 4 is 2. So we can bring it out, 2. And wala namang, hindi namang perfect square 7, so it will become square root of 7. And as you can see, both sides of the equation are equal, meaning the value of x is correct. So that's it guys. I hope guys learned something from this video. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!